18 innings of work, all of them starts after coming to the Bulldogs as a closer from George Mason. 21 game hitting streak ended when Colton Smith struck him out. He's hit on the pitch, hit by the pitch on the elbow. So McCants is aboard on one pitch. For now over at third base today. Moving over from second, and that's going to be a walk from Marachna. 2-2 pitch. Got him. Marachna comes back to get the strikeouts. 3-2. McCants came scampering down the baseline. Got him on a strikeout. Last six games, he's 12 for 22, and he smashes this from the deep right field, and another bomb off the bat of Corey Collins. And I think it made the backyard of the greenhouse or got close to it. <laughs> wow. That's now nine home runs in his last four plus games. And you said it, he's just been on a tear. Condon to the right side and off the glove of the first baseman, Hodo into right field for a base hit. 0-2. Bouncer to the shortstop, LeBron tosses the second one onto first, and they turn the 6-4-3 double play to erase Condon and Alford, and there's two down in the inning. As the Bulldogs jumped out to the lead, sends this one in the air, straight up the chute. Let's see who takes it. Right fielder, Slight comes in, has it, and that'll be the end of the inning. Goes after the first pitch and bloops it in the left field. That's going to drop for a base hit in front of Tate's. Ball goes to the backstop, and advancing from first will be Cade Snell. He's at second. If he had the qualifying numbers, he'd be the top on base percentage on this team at 520, called strike three. To the plate with the 0-1, bounces it down the line. That should score a run. Snell touches third, going to score easily. Throw comes into second, sliding double for Hodo. And Alabama's tied the game at one. Go out on, on that high note and win a ball and have a winning season. Blooped out behind second base. That's going to drop in no man's land. They're going to hold the runner at third. A bloop single there by Gassetti. And runners are at first and third for Alabama. Runner goes from first. Swing and a miss. And Maragna ends the second just as he ended the first with a strikeout. He's really uh, proud of their mindset and their energy. That ball has torched the right field off the bat of Tate's. And it's gone. Barely cleared the wall as the right fielder Slight was running as fast as he could to try to catch up with it. Had he gotten there, he might have been able to reach up and deny the home run, but it just kept tailing away from him. And Paul Tates smacks one out of here to give Georgia a 2 1 lead. Yeah, second straight inning here, Georgia. For Georgia at shortstop. That's a hot shot in the left field for a base hit. Slam great. Yeah. Runner going, and ball's going to sail into center field. Stolen base, picking up and running towards third, and safe there. So he's at third. Two balls, two strikes, and right at the shortstop on the button from Murillo for Alabama. Maracna, two innings, one run, three hits allowed, and that's going to be a second double that he's allowed as Petrutz slams that one into the right field corner. In scoring position to start the inning. Here's the 0-1 to Snell. Bounce to the second baseman, and Murillo gobbles it up and throws him out. Slate Alford hits this one on the ground. That's going to be back up the middle for a base hit. This time, because it's a game of failure where, you know, oh, oh my goodness, that's not a failure. That's a home run for Goldstein. It's his second home run of the series. RBI number four and five, and Georgia has a 4-1 lead. Goldstein was one of those guys when we were down on the field pre-game watching him take BP. He had gotten into a really good rhythm driving the ball that way. 2-1 pitch, line drive, right field base hit. Hit number eight for the Dogs. Hit number two for Colby Branch. How about that for an answer? Colby Branch. Runner goes, one-two pitch, ball in the dirt, and stolen base for Branch. That's his second stolen base of the game. It's second, three-two pitch. 
And in the right field base hit. Does that score Colby Branch? Coach Simpson's going to let him go. No throw. Throw comes to second. Sliding double. Run in. 5-1 dogs as Henry Hunter scores Branch with an RBI double. That was Jason Jackson. Bunt. Nicely done. Zane Adams, spin move, throws to first, gets the out there. That will be a sacrifice. And that moves Hunter to third base with one out. Coming out of fall, going into spring. Oh, is that ball smashed to center field. McCants ranging over to his left. That will be deep enough easily to score Hunter from third. The batter's eye. Pounds this one into the ground. LeBron bobbles it. Safe at first. In the 3-2 pitch, fouled into the mitt, and that'll be a strikeout. It's between the entire outfield. Ball is hit up through center field, base hit. They had uh, Murillo shaded a little bit more to the left that time. Credit the Bama offense for really extending the bats and keeping the pressure on. That's a four-pitch walk to LeBron. 3-0 pitch from Arachna. Gets away from the catcher, really doesn't factor as that's ball four. Bases loaded. 2-2 pitch from Radke. Did he go? Got him! Jason Millsap, the home plate umpire, rings him up. And Jason Jackson, the pitching coach, out of the dugout, pointing at the home plate umpire. And the home plate umpire, Jordan Farrell, pointing right back at him. 0-2 serves the ball in the center field. Condon will not be able to get to that. Going to drop in for hit number six for the Crimson Tide and Cassetti's aboard. 427. And that's going to be a base hit. First and second for Alabama. So Gage Miller is starting to come right back at him over the last two games. Ground ball hit to Murillo. Goes to Branch. On to first. Double play. 4-6-3 double play. First month of the season. That's a shot into right field for a base hit. And Henry Hunter picks up the 10th hit of the day for the Dogs. It's his second in a row after he had an RBI double his last time up. 3-2, runner goes, and that's going to be ball four and a stolen base. 1-1 one, one pitch. Slams this one to center field. McCant, sunglasses flashing back at the wall, jumps and makes the grab at the wall. Easy tag for Hunter to score from third. And the Dogs make it 7-1. Third RBI for Corey Collins, a homer and two sack flies today. And Georgia has a six-run lead. That's and that's exactly what they're yeah. going to do. <laughs> I mean, effectively, that's what they were doing. Let's just stop wasting time. You're going to walk him. Yeah. Let's just put him on first, right? Runners are going. Throw down to third. Double steal for the Dogs. Six stolen bases for Georgia in this game. 2-2, back up the middle, base hit. Morello scores, here comes Condon. He will score without a throw. Georgia leads 9-1. Four pitch walk. Ball hit to the shortstop. LeBron goes to second, they get the out there. And that will end the inning. 2-2 pitch is hit into right field. Does that get out of here? No, going to bounce in the corner. A one hopper. Petrutz is going to stop at second with his second double of the day and his third hit of the day. 3-2 missed high. Ball four. That ball is hit to right field. Tate's back at the wall. Watches it bang off the scoreboard. And Cade Snell. Slugs a three-run homer as Alabama inches closer and makes it 9-4 here in the top of the seventh. How about the answer back by this Alabama team? I don't think it was a specific umpire. It's just the umpiring crew in general made that call. A base hit for Colby Branch. That's three hits for him today. He's four for his last five, including a walk-off grand slam. Branch running again. And this time he's going to be out. Slid off the bag, and LeBron was able to hold the tag on him. 3-2 pitch, called strike three. And that ends the inning for the Dogs. I have a hard time remembering. Oh, my goodness, moonshot to right field. And that is his second homer of the day.
Corey Collins on an absolute tear. Tenth home run of the season for Collins. Stay that way. Blooper on the infield and Branch, did he get it? He says he got it. Third base umpire, Ryan Bruce says he trapped it. Closer look here. Ah, uh, yeah, he trapped it. Does look like it bounced. Yeah, he trapped it. Yeah. After review, After review the ruling the on the ruling field, on field is field confirmed. Is no catch. No catch. Batter runners at first base. Snell today. One, two, hot shot in the hole between first and second. And the Crimson Tide have two aboard here to get the inning started in the ninth. 1-1 one, one pitch, hit to center field. Condon is there, and that's out number one. Shows off Strong, the arm. Man, he's got a heck of an arm. <laughs> Three balls and a strike to Hodo. That's ball four. The bases are loaded. Snell at second. Fly ball, deep right to the track it goes. Chadwick makes the grab, tag from third. LeBron scores easily without a throw. And now it's 10 to five, but now Alabama down to their final out. 2-2 two -two pitch on the ground. Alford slings it across. Collins is able to hold the bag for the final out and Georgia wins. Unless they, yeah, they're gonna challenge that. So let's just hold off on the Georgia wins. Let's see if he was able to keep his foot on the bag. No, he's safe. Isn't that what you see? That's what I see. After review, After review the ruling the on the ruling field, on the field is, is overturned. The runner is safe. 2-2 two -two pitch. Tapper on the infield. Collins waits on it, gloves it, steps on the bag, and Georgia wins. 10-5 the final. Zeldin gets the save. Georgia sweeps Alabama. And the Bulldogs are now 3-3 three three in the SEC.